Hi everyone, this is John. I'm in Palos Verdes, California. I came out here sort of midday. Uh, one, because I saw the clouds and it looked really good and the surf's been really big lately, so I thought I'd come out to photograph some waves. And also it looks like we might get an awesome sunset, so I'm hoping for that. And so I'll probably, I'll stay till sunset. And I saw the tide was low at two o'clock in the afternoon, so I thought I'd come out early and just check out things. And normally when I go to the beach uh, for photography, I go before sunset or for sunset or before sunrise because the lighting's better and it's more interesting. But when it's broad daylight, it's more difficult because it's, you know, everything's more harsh. The light is more harsh. So with that kind of challenge in mind, uh, that's what I'm facing now because I'm waiting a little while. So it gives me time to look for a cool spot for sunset, but also to see what we have. There's a lot of cool rocks here. and you. So let's go to it. I'm still on the trail down to the beach, but I saw this rock over here. I was just about to get near, boom. I thought, it'd be, I thought it'd be cool for a shot. So I'm gonna set up here on the trail and go for it. Okay, I lied, I came down onto the rocks. Because from where I was up on the trail, that I thought the waves looked kind of small, so I thought I'd come down to get more level with the waves. But I still want to try to get the same shot with that that rock right there. So I'm I'm drawn to the rock. Yeah. Uh, lately, when I've been coming to the beach to do photos, I've been using a ten stop. ND filter to smooth out the water, just create a cool effect, but also to give the sort of serene feel that I've been experiencing at the beach. But sometimes I want the beach to speak for itself, and right now it's high surf, and with that I want to show the, the power of it. So I'm not going to use a 10 stop filter. Uh, right now I'm going to use a, a, a circular polarizer. This one's a breakthrough technology. So I've got my 300 millimeter, got the polarizer, going to live view. So I've got the exposure sort of where I want it. Uh, so I'm going to see if the polarizer does anything. If it just makes the picture darker. I'll cut down some of the glare on that rock. Alright, so now that I've got that set, I set the drive to high speed. Now it's just a long waiting game. So I moved to another spot and the tide is slowly coming in. And one thing I noticed when the waves crash on this big rock with the sun getting low it darkens the area so i thought it was kind of cool i'm hoping i can capture it on video because it was happening a few times while i was moving so i'm going to wait Well, the sun's gone down and the sunset was, wasn't as awesome as I was hoping, but it was still pretty cool. You know, it's, it's awesome to be out here. And what I'm going to do is focus on this rock right here. And I switched to my 85 millimeter, which goes to one, which the aperture goes to 1.8, which is pretty fast and pretty large. So, and I also put a 10 stop filter on to smooth out the water. So hopefully this creates more of an abstract type of image. Uh, and so, uh, Let's check this out. So I've got my ND filter on on the 85. Shutter speed at 8. Now I'm just kind of waiting for a good moment. Let's try it now. At one 
other thing I do is when I decide to do a 1.8 aperture, I do sort of a safety. I do something with like F11 or something, you know, to get more crisp. Uh, I've done it, made mistakes in the past where I just think, oh, I'll just do one. When I get home, I look at it, you know, I, I don't quite like that. I, mean, I like to give myself options. Uh, I wish I was good enough to be able to just do it once and do it right, but the reality is my mind can change five minutes from now going, you know, I wish I had done such and such. Well, I've had a lot of fun. Uh, the tide's coming in pretty strong and also the parking lot's closing pretty soon. I got a little bit of a walk to do, so. Anyway, I, I've had a lot of fun and I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, leave any comments or questions down below. Feel free to subscribe. This is John signing out. Bye.